whoever thinks that history cannot be relieved or that it is not possible to explore every corner of the globe might want to rethink their theories. Imagine sitting at home and being able to relieve moments that happened centuries ago or feeling as if you were in the middle of the scorching hot Sahara Desert. Well, technology isn't far from making this fantasy a reality. Scientist David Howard from the University of York, along with Alan Chalmers and Christopher Moyer from the University of Warwick, have developed a device that brings a whole new meaning to the term virtual reality. See for yourself. So we are currently very concerned with the whole nature of how humans perceive what's going on around them from the five senses primarily, and how those senses interact to allow the brain to believe that it is really somewhere else. And we suspect that it's the interaction between the senses that's going to give us a handle on how you can convince somebody that what they're looking at is, in that sense, real. But actually, it's not real because it's virtual, hence the term real virtuality. Ah, Kim, thanks for coming. Hi. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the Angelotistus Church here at Guitar in Cyprus. As you can see, the outside is not very imposing, but inside... Wow! Wonderfully rich decoration, but nothing compared to how it may have appeared in the past. As you can see, here, and even smell. Oh, yes. The senses combine in an almost magical way. When wearing the virtual helmet, the user immediately sees the action unfolding right before their eyes, thanks to the high-definition screen. A surround sound system accompanies the scenery and chemicals are released to match the exact scent of the event. If one dares to venture into the desert, they will feel the scorching heat. Or if they are strolling a beautiful garden, the scent of roses will be released to make the experience an unforgettable one. Maybe one day in the future we can take a vacation from our living room. <laughs> <laughs>